Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris Likeness with GottaBeMobile.com, and I have the HTC Titan, an iPhone 4, and the Galaxy Nexus. What do they all have in common besides the fact that they are all different mobile OSs? Well, we could turn on the HTC Titan, and we've got Metro, which is, you know, what you have on HTC Titan. Then we start playing with the flattery, and we have, which I showed on video a couple weeks ago, um, a theme, a dream board theme that emulates Windows Phone. And it's not as well done as what I'm about to show you on Android. It's been out for a while, it's called Launcher 7, and there's a few add-ons that you can get to further enhance your Windows Phone emulation on Android and this is uh, the WP lock screen I believe that's the name it's called uh, there's a free and a paid version and uh, as you can see it actually shows like uh, that I've got one missed call uh, I guess it's not keying I don't have it set up right or it's not keying on Gmail it's looking for a different type of email because I know that I've got a couple of reds on here as you can see right here uh, actually let me take you back out there just like with Windows Phone, it bounces when you let it go. Um, take it up to a certain point and it'll keep going back down and you can just flick it up. Uh, the only thing I see wrong with this is when you let it bounce, watch the flicker. It kind of flickers the background there. So but anyway, not bad. Um, so we have the Metro look on the Galaxy Nexus. As you can see, it's still got the things, the... Um, soft keys from uh, ice cream sandwich at the bottom there but the top it is an option you can set it up to where it actually looks like Windows Phone 7 and it does a really good job there however when you leave the application um, when you go into an application it'll change as you can see there it looks very similar uh, you flick over here and you've got a Windows Phone 7 launcher, as you will. And that's it. Uh, this is not the, if you pay $1.99 for uh, the pro version of Launcher 7 and remove these ads down here. So, anyway, um, this is not the exact setup that you would have when you first install it. I've added a few add ons or additional tiles uh, to pin a tile to the front page, just like with. Windows Phone 7, if I wanted to take Fandango and take it up there, I could pin it to the home screen. I'm not sure if you can see that. Remove from this list or uninstall. So we're going to pin that to the home screen. And then it gives you some options. Uh, tile size, title, uh, what type of icon, tile color. So if I wanted to change the color, I could. Uh, I'll just click to add. And we'll see down here at the bottom it added that. Now, as you can see, it's using the theme color from the uh, Launcher 7 application. If I want to change that, well, first of all, I can move it around just like you can with Windows Phone 7. But you can unpin it or you can edit this tile. And here it brings up a nice little, um, nice little uh, amount of settings here. You can change the application that it uses to launch. You can uh, add a shortcut, change the text color, change the color of the background. Uh, use theme color which is what I'm doing or you can go here and go to custom icon now if I do that um, I'm gonna go with a stock boot map this is ones that come with it uh, it's got nothing to do with any of these but we'll just pick I don't know uh, Yahoo for the for giggles you know go down here uh, tile options nothing we'll, we'll change that in a moment uh, modify tile and now you see the Yahoo uh, kind of clear or a, a PNG style file that goes over the the tile to create you know what it looks like with Windows Phone 7 so uh, we're gonna go even further with this and I have downloaded a bunch of uh, <clears throat> excuse me tiles from a user on XDA developers and I'll add that in the, the post on gotta be mobile but uh, we'll go here to select image from SD card and um, I just added these to my SD card and we'll find one here um, I don't know I'm not gonna go through here on camera to see if I can actually find 
Uh, I don't even remember the application we pinned Fandango. Uh, so I'll just pick one. Let's just go with Pandora just for giggles. Um, now, if I don't change the tile options and I modify the tile, you can see it added that in the middle of the tile. So what we're going to have to do there is go back in here and edit that. And for tile options, we're going to go to full tile bitmap. Click on that. Modify tile again. And now you've got the full tile. And as you can see, I did that with Google+, Plus, uh, Google Maps, Foursquare, Barnes & Noble Nook, Xbox Live, Facebook. Um, these were already there, the Play Store and the browser and so forth. And as you can see up here, it um, shows I've got one missed call. Gmail, I've got two unread messages and it flips and gives you a preview there. Haven't tried the text message to see if it's live, but I'm pretty sure it is. The people tile is pulling from, um, I believe that it's pulling from my Google Plus contacts, but I've also downloaded another application called uh, WP Contacts, I believe it's called. Um, it was also free. There's a light version. There's also a paid version that you can pay, you know, $1.99, $2.99, I'm not sure, to get rid of the ads. So if you click on there, it gives you the same look as uh, you would have with Windows Phone 7. And you scroll up and down there, you click on there and go to, you know, let's go with M. And there you go. Scroll up and down. I'm not going to take you into any of them because, well, you know what happens when you do that, right? So, but anyway, it's really neat. Um, it's just something different. You can, um, you know, go back and forth between your other launchers. For instance, uh, if you've looked at some posts I've made on Gotta Be Mobile, I use um, <clears throat> a launcher called, oh, heck, I can't even remember the name of it now. Let's see if we can find it real quick so I don't look so silly here. Uh, um, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, I forgot the name of it. I and I cannot find it. Let's see here. Give me another moment. Apologize. Um, Nova, Nova Launcher. There it is. I can click on Nova Launcher and go back to my standard look that I have there. Um, and I can also go. Between the other, I've got a couple other launchers on there, but if I want to go back and go back to the seven launcher, it's right there, and bam, I'm there. So if I turn it off like I showed you, I've got that lock screen here, and there you have it. So anyway, this is uh, it's been out for at least a year, and um, I just recently decided to give it a try, and. Uh, I hadn't messed with it back when it came out. It's just got updated a few days ago, which has prompted me to uh, take a look. So, but anyway, it's called Launcher 7, and it's a free app um, if you can deal with the, the ads at the bottom down here. Come on, show me the ads. There you go. Um, I haven't noticed any other... Uh, there might be some additional features you can get. I haven't noticed... Uh, oh, by the way, this uh, this is a picture tile. And you can have it linked to wherever you want to take it. I've got a link to go to my gallery. But in order to set up the random images that I've got rotating between there, just fix, pick some out of your library. Put a little check mark there, and there you have it. So you can see it's flipping through. So it's pretty neat. Um, it's it's pretty fluid. It's not not slowed down any. I, I read a post somewhere that said that it you might notice some lag with ice cream sandwich. Uh, not so. I have not seen any problems with it so far. So anyway, I'm going to play with it and tweak it a little bit more and there'll be a post up on Gotta Be Mobile later tonight or maybe tomorrow uh, showcasing some screenshots and so forth. So anyway, this is uh, Launcher 7. Like I said, it's free. Uh, you can pay $1.99 to turn the ads off and there's some other little add-ons that you can get to further accent the Windows Phone 7 look. So anyway, Chris Lightness gotta be mobile.com. Thanks for watching.